welcome. Now then, today what I'm going to be doing is reverse engineering a port, the old camcorder port. PCBWay have now become a one-stop solution. Other than doing high quality PCB boards, they now do CNC services as well as 3D printing. If like myself you're into doing electronics projects and require PCBs, then do check out their services on their website. There's no way to get composite and audio or AV from this camcorder. Now this is the very same camcorder which uh, Rich and I bought from the car boot sale you know, in the summer and it is actually a really nice camcorder. Um, this one is a later model in the line of the one which I used to have as in like in the late 90s and early 2000s. Uh, it was given to me by someone but it didn't work. Uh, it worked initially but then just went faulty. You will notice that it looks very similar to the Back to the Future camcorder which is um, I believe the C1 but that is a tube camera like a CRT camera which is the same technology as the one I'm using there whereas these are CCDs of course so they're later models but yeah it's on the same line. This is the GR45 and this is the GR65. Now as you can see as it's matured it has smoothened and there's a naughty person on the table now. <laughs> hey. You just waited until I sat up to you. <laughs> he has to be he has to be the main the main attraction of the show. Both of these actually have the same um, camcorder output. It's that little freaking output, right? No, it's that same little port. <laughs> Excuse you, you're in my life. So it's that same camcorder port as you can see there. That same one which is on this, my older one. But I also, actually I have reverse engineered um, the same port on my Hitachi full VHS camcorder and that was in a holiday special uh, I think it was 2000, 20, 2020 <laughs> oh my god I really did go back in time then 2020 but for some odd reason this doesn't I mean even though the port is the same and it you know it's the same port it doesn't work you know, it works on the Hitachi, but not here. So I'm wondering if the pin configuration might be a bit different. I'm going to test it on this uh, PVM. Either it's this, or, you know, wrong pin, or it's just the signal is not right. But now, as you can see, I'd already previously bought one of these. And, um, you know, the yellow is the composite, and the white is audio mono. In the uh, JVC, when I tried this, this was left and right. So I've got a feeling the pin configurations are totally different with these, even though the, the port is exactly the same. Which is strange because I thought that it was a universal port. So, you know, we'll find out today. So first things first, let's rig this one up. So line a video in. First of all, let's try the other cable maybe configuration. Pin configuration, no. Now what came included with this JVC was the RF box here. And that, as you can see, is literally just RF and, and video and antenna. And I'm not gonna use RF, right? The, the other side of it is the camcorder. So since it's RF, it's gonna have both audio and video, so the pins are gonna be connected. So instead, what I'm gonna do is just gut this out completely and convert this box into like a breakout cable, which is, you know, with RCA connections for AV audio video so composite and then the two um, audio cables here okay two grounds there's gonna be a video ground and there's gonna be audio ground of course, I know ground is ground, 
when I was little, that was one of the amateur things which I used to do. I said, oh, ground is just ground. Can I get it from anywhere in the circuit? No. <laughs> get it from the closest thing to, especially in analog circuits. Well, actually, no, digital as well. Um, get it from like video ground. Don't just use an audio ground. Um, get it from the video part of the circuitry, even though there's continuity between them. You know, that's the one thing that I learned I quite, you know, in my teens, well, early 20s. Okay, so let's just snip this, this thing off. Okay, so my guess with this is that the two thicker ones are going to be the video ones. I don't know, I'm just figuring it out. So let's, I'm going to strip the, both the grounds. Okay, so let's link the camera up. Let's connect this. You know what, just to see if the freaking camera settings, uh, sorry, the PVM settings are fine. I'm going to connect this to like something else's composite. Now this is Rich's camcorder. It's a high eight one, a really nice one. And um, he used this back in the day. It's got, of course, uh, S-Video in, but it's also got composite in. Sorry, S-Video out. And this has got composite out. Why would he have in? <laughs> you don't view pictures on the CCD. <laughs> okay, so that works perfectly. Wow, what a beautiful image. Oh my god, that is an absolutely stunning image. It's so clear. It's like, because it's a PVM, it's got more TV lines, like a higher resolution. It is stunning. I love this. Oh my god. So we know the monitor settings are fine, all right? No way. Don't tell me the gray wire is the freaking composite. That's odd. That's stupid. Why is the gray wire composite? Well, I found it anyway. It works. <laughs> but it's stupid. So I'm assuming the other one. Now, what are you going to tell me? That this ground is not freaking sky? So what the heck? What about this ground? At least black is ground. There's one thing that's consistent. Oh, that's much better. That's a much better um, signal. Stupid outrage. <laughs> Composites always yellow. Thickos. Yes. Yeah, so the th the the thicker cable is video. And the other one's obviously going to be audio because it's not as yeah. It's got a wiggly in it. <laughs> wiggly um, signal <laughs> so okay we know what's what right well not quite I'm, uh, I need I know what video is I should use a vice but I don't have one at hand right now and yes I, I am aware I wasn't gonna like shred my fingers Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This is a whole bigger. Oh, that's really handy, that. Okay, so that's the video sorted. I need to make the audio ones here now. I don't have a yellow <laughs> RCA. I've only got black and red. So I'll put the white plastic on the video one and it says video in big there. <laughs> so at least there's like a big clue on, on that. Then I'll um, you know, just do the audio ones there. As you can see from the inside, that's the video. That's the two audios with their grounds joined as one. And I can just solder that and then solder. So I just hope these freaking wires so big. Actually, yeah, there will be. I was a little concerned that they weren't going to be. This one, one of them might be a stretch, actually. Before I connect the audio ones up, right, I'm going to see if they are actually audio. Before we were looking out for something, now we're listening for something. Because thankfully this... PVM does indeed have sound. Which 
just turn all of them anyway. Right, so I know what video is. It's not, is it gray? Well, yeah, it's sort of gray, light gray, sort of. And then the, the thick ground. Okay, so that's soldered. Let's just test now. Okay, well that works. <laughs> right, so the yellow wire, I've got no idea what it is. There seems to be eight volts coming through it. So I'm just gonna clip that and just join that, just clip it and just tape because I don't know what that's used for. Either way, we've got AV coming out of it. Probably not stereo, it's probably mono. So what I'm gonna do then is double that up. So it can be like dual mono rather than, you know. So that'll make it. Right, so that's dual mono. Not a stereo output. It's cool. Let's screw this back together. I mean, the cord grip won't go properly, but it'll somewhat. Oh, actually, it does. So that yellow wire. I'm so glad I tested it first. <laughs> um, is the power supply for this? this modulator thing and that's what yeah supply the power so I think it's just mono and it doesn't seem to be kind of like a stereo output so uh, what I've done instead is I've made it like a dual mono so like if anything has a stereo <laughs> I should have just done one <laughs> I thought I had that was a bit ahead of myself <laughs> so it's dual mono <laughs> Right, let's just test everything now. I'm testing it on this, the actual older one, the one that used to be mine, is a little faulty. I just want to see what I can do about that. There we go, it's working though, there's something, and that's the camera, it's got an, uh, the camera's got an issue. It's not like this or anything. Very good. I knew connected the audio ground and it's working. How? Oh, is it because it's connecting it? It's connecting together right in here. So basically the video is the video on the audio ground and the other one's just this like a freaking negative voltage. Oh, you pee. That was very close. I could have screwed stuff up. Which of I tested that? before actually testing it with the camera, right? Yeah, that wouldn't have been nice. So the ground for the audio and is the ground for the video. So the same freaking ground. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Brilliant. Wow, it's actually working nice. It's just for some reason. Why is that bit acting? Ah, depends on the, it's certain parts of the image. So I think it's like the black of the image. All right, correct it. Made the adapter, simple as really. It's just that it was annoying me because there's no way to get composite out of these JVC camcorders. I needed that. Got dual mono and we got video out of the uh, the camcorder thing. So this is for JVC. I didn't know there were like different pinouts, but apparently they are. 
So if it doesn't work, if you've got a camcorder that doesn't work with a certain adapter, it's just the pinouts. You know, they are different. But yeah, so we got this one. Ooh. This one working. And this one. So, both of them. Yay! So we have my setup here. So nice. Thanks so much to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to you very kind top tier supporters of mine who deserve an extra special thanks. Rich Garbe, Axel Dominator, Electronscape, Aaron Metcalf, Corey Ostman, Starglider77, Mark Bosak, Starlike Minako, Chris Sebelinski and Veronica. Have a lovely evening everyone. Until next time, adios!